are going to be at your desk having you shadow somebody if you're not if they feel like you should be you need to come off the phone because you're not performing well and we cannot afford to to, to, to mash up the team stats you need to you need to you need to come off the phone come 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 and they're gonna move hi youtube it has been a while since i posted it has been two weeks Last week I actually tried to prank my partner, however it, I was unsuccessful because I didn't realize it was a prank and it failed, it's not easy to prank, so I have to try and come better next time. Um, I also want to thank each and everyone who has subscribed, who has continued to watch and support my channel. Um, I now have 132 subscribers in which I am truly grateful super super grateful for that yeah i actually just came in from work and decided my son is asleep so like, like i said let's let me just go ahead and do a video for you guys because you deserve it you have been supporting and the only way for my channel to actually grow is if i put out the content in which i am going to continue to do that i will make the time i will ensure that i put out all the videos in today's video i'll be talking about the truth about working in the call center, in the BP industry in Jamaica. The good, the bad, the ugly, and every little thing. Never talk about everything today in that video. Never try to put everything in that video in full. So, stay tuned. Continue to subscribe. Click the thumbs up so that we can definitely continue to subscribe to my channel. Continue to like my videos. Continue to tell your friends, share my videos, and just continue supporting i really and 100 percent appreciate you all yeah so let's get right into the video i have my book here so at first i'm going to talk about the good aspects of working in the bpo industry because honestly it's not only bad i know a lot of persons have been talking a lot of stuff but guess what it's not 100 percent bad it can be better if they implement a lot of stuff in which I'm not sure they will, but it's not only bad. So I'm going to talk about the good aspect of working in the industry first. Let's go. Hey again, guys. So the sounding, I'm not sure what's happening with the sound. It's, it's cutting in and out, but I'm going to try my best to project. I need to work, I need to try to fix that as soon as possible so I can be able to do my videos on my phone until I'm able to afford a camera. Alright, so firstly, the opportunity for growth at a call center is actually not hard because in a regular company, in a, corp in a corporate environment, are you know them a private company so it's not so easy to get a promotion right without you having a degree or a master's or a phd or something to some some something behind your name in the call center industry you can do some 360 once you perform good then we'll promote you and yeah that that is it's somewhat good but it's also not so good because a lot of the persons in my managerial posts that are not trained managers, um, their attitude is wrong. They tend to, um, you know, let it get to them like, I'm a manager, you're an agent. I can do this, you can do that. So, them have a little, you know, attitude and intuition, in fact, being a manager, it shouldn't come so easy without you being trash. It's even if it if it even is just a certificate. I believe that money being in a managerial role, you should be trained. I must say though, conduit. I worked at conduit, and the managers there, they're they're trained, and I I must big up. I'm not sure if her name is. Um, what's her name again? The site director for Conduit. I think it's Sherry or Sherry Lee. I'm not sure if I remember her name. But she, I must be her up. She always giving good advice to the agents and to managers. 
she's always telling them to UCC or whatever for interest them to do managerial courses because as a manager you have to be trained management just don't it just don't just come like that you have to be trained i believe you have to be trained in order to exercise certain skills and all of that and i realize that many call centers when they ask the managers they're i'm just 19 and i'm a manager if i did it you can do it too if, but when you when you open your mouth is like so like you only have one subject so i understand it's like, like when you go ask them they pay attention so i think being a getting a managerial role at a young age it can be good but i believe also that it can be bad because you don't have the skills you don't possess the skills to be a manager so that is my opinion that's my opinion okay you can leave your com com um, comments down below letting me know how you feel about what i say um the salary the basic salary is not so good but the compensation package overall as relates to incentives and bonuses that is good i'm i have been able to accomplish a lot with my incentives with, with my incentives i was able to finish my room do a lot do a lot of stuff i won't say everything but i was able to, to do a lot of stuff with my with working at the call center so i believe at call centers it is like when you're starting out as a young person it's good they don't have any pair you don't have any um children sorry to take care, care of so what you can do is to ensure that you save your money so and put it to good use because what at a call center you can accomplish a lot especially with the incentives you can accomplish so much for the benefits you get life insurance you get health insurance you get discounts at selected um locations like selected companies so that that was a really good feature of working at the call center your personal development as it relates to customer centricity i mean you treat customers the way you talk to them the way you relay information to them it comes naturally when after you've been in the call center environment and you see how it is mandatory for you to talk to a customer a certain way for you to greet your customer for all of that so if you should ever transition into a different company you realize that you value you value your customers so i believe that working in the call center industry helps you to develop your perspectives on how you deal with customers or how you do business overall uh, i also like the fact that in the call center industry it's very clean very clean and the janitorial staff and the, is, is it ancillary here the ancillary staff are ancillary what are they? ancillary ancillary staff yeah, one of them. The janitorial staff, let me use a word that I'm familiar with. <laughs> the janitorial staff, they work around the clock. They're always cleaning and always taking the trash. So the office is conducive for work. Yes. So those are my few um, pros, the good thing that I know, that I have um, analyzed about working in the call center industry. And that's first-hand experience for me. Yes. So now we move on to the not so good part. Let's go. Alright, I'm really not sure what's happening with my phone. I'm really sorry if the sound isn't as good, but I promise that I'm gonna try my best to fix it. So the next video that you'll get to the sound will be much better. So now I'm gonna try to hurry up and talk about the harsh realities of working in the BP industry. So even though we do have good aspects of working in the call center where the company the incentives are good and the place is clean and all of that, the truth and in fact it has been messing up a lot of persons' mental 
Um, it has been hard for a lot of people in the sense that micromanaging, like the managers are on your back like slave drivers, man. Like, for instance, um, let's say you're always performing well, and let's say one day you drop below top tier. I can assure you that if you're working from home, the phone is going to stop ring, 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 um, it's because that it's me a call you, or um, the QA a call them to say, you need to work on your stats. Those things can be annoying, it can be very annoying. I guarantee you, it, it was annoying for me. And if you're at, if you're in office, you're gonna be at your desk, having you shadow somebody. If you're not, if they feel like you should be, you need to come off the phone because you're not performing well. And we cannot afford to to to, to mash up the team stats. You need to, you need to you need to come off the phone. Come 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 come. And they're gonna put an uh, ear drop. What I'm calling the earphone drop. You know somebody else they can listen to them call and show them to the call properly. After you perform well all along, you know, for them so they cannot read or not. The clients, them don't care about you. The clients, the foreign clients, like, I'm not going to call any names, but the clients, that are the, those are the persons that own the account, right? They oversee the account to ensure that you're performing and all that. So the clients, them don't care about you. Them put, if you make a simple mistake, they're going to say, fire her, fire her. That's how they feel it. I'm telling you the truth. And always talking to American persons, to the American customers, it can become stressful. Even if you're not talking to Americans, just talking to the customers overall can be really stressful. Especially Americans, they are very, they act as if they're entitled. So that can be frustrating as well. The basic salary, so let's say, um, you don't make any incentives for a month or you know you're not gonna make incentives all the time right so let's say you don't make an incentive for that month um the basic salary will not cover your needs sometimes not even the basic needs so you, let's say you have rent to pay most times these call centers pay let's say 400 dollars an hour so you have the rent to pay which are 30 dollars a month you have light bill water bill um Internet, courts are calling you for the pedal one. You, have, you probably have a car. We have the local one as well. So the basic salary will not cover your needs. This the basic salary will probably be only for persons that are still living with their parents and just contributing to food and stuff like that. So yeah, the basic salary will not suffice for persons that have real responsibility. That's just the truth. Let's say, for instance, you are getting older and you're, not in, you're, you're still young and you realize that, you know, I want to start a business, but I need, some start, I need the capital to start a business, right? Um, you don't have the capital, you don't have enough capital to start the business, so you have to take a loan from a bank. Within, with taking that loan as a call center agent, the most they probably be at thirty thousand dollar because your are your a BPO they consider us to not be but I was I'm no longer a call center working the call center environment you would realize that they're saying that you're not your job is stable because today can they tomorrow they, they, they lose their account and then they have everybody and fire everybody so if that's it as a way to if you want, so get a loan or a mortgage, then now we really deal with with that basic salary. The US car centers are probably getting fifteen dollars more an hour and we're just getting probably two dollars or three dollars per hour, which is not fair, which is less than less than half of that. Yeah, less than half of that. Well if they cut that in a four still less. 100% flexible, and you know, it can be annoying when you have to work on one kid this week and the next week you're paying for the night shift. It is really stressful. You lose sleep and all that. Your mental health. Today, a friend of mine reached out to me 
letting me know that she's really frustrated. And she's saying that it's not even so much a call, but she's just tired of working in the call center environment. She's tired of it. And I understand because I felt the same way that the managers, them just annoying. I mean, I understand to them job, but it's annoying. It's really annoying. You pay short, you work the time, but you pay short. You know, if you're sitting over the discrepancy and some managers are blatantly not answering their phones or not paying any mind when they're supposed to send over a discrepancy. There's, there are only a few managers that actually look out for you. The rest of them look out for the company and themselves. Well, growth, as I, I stated earlier, that in the call center industry, it's easier to get a position than in a regular company. But in truth and in fact, if you end up in a certain people or if you know, you know, if you're not liked by a certain people, then not get a promotion. You understand what I mean? So it's like a friend friend to you. have a friend to get a promotion. I don't realize if when they're hiring you, they're asking you, are you going to school? If you're going to school, they're not going to hire you. Which in fact, to me, that says they don't want anybody to elevate themselves. They just want people to have five subjects and three subjects so they can treat them and pay them with a little bit of money. That's, that's what I get from it. That's what I get from it. Because when I applied to a call center the other day before I started this new job, they said to me, if you're going to school, we're not going to hire you, so please don't tell the, 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 the person that the recruiter. No, not, not the recruiter. Don't tell the person that's um, doing the interview, doing the interview, sorry, that you are going to school. Yeah, they want people with one subject to disappear so they can pay them. You understand? Yeah, the managers are not properly trained, as I said earlier. They're not. That's what she says. It is sad and don't think that I'm bashing the BPO because it has been doing a lot for young people, for our people. But I believe that they can be better. And I got I saw a comment where on TikTok where a person commented stating that um, she was talking to a minister. I'm not sure if I, I don't remember his name. The call center is draining for young people mentally and all the alleys is draining them. And it's true. So many people can't feel the same way. You know, see some people play just downright lazy, but there's some people that actually want to do well. And you know, you, you go to school and you're paying to take your education, do your best, you know, and keep the first society say, go to school, do your best, take your subject then. But when you take your subject then, probably you can't go to the university and you get a job like class and you just, you just train it. So, I would recommend that um, the call centers try to work on getting training your staff better. Not so much as the agents, because I know agents are well trained, but the managers they are not trained properly. They, they can't manage a team. I believe that, as I said, I admire the call center conduit because when I was there, I tried to say, go to school, do your best, get a subject then, but when you get a subject then, probably you can't afford to the university. And you get a job at the call center and you just, it's just draining. It's draining. So, I would recommend that um, the call centers try to work on getting training your staff better. Not so much as the agents, because I know the agents are well trained, but the managers, they are not trained properly. They, they can't manage a team. I believe that, as I said, I admire the call center conduit, because when I was there, I realized that the managers were responsible. They were very responsible. No, the call center that I've been majority they're not responsible and, and they're 19 years old and all of that and i don't believe in that and who advocates for the agents like let's say there's a the, the agent don't get but don't um have any bad thing on their record and one mishap they make a mistake and you just fire them just like that who advocates for those agents 
And if you use them words like that, that's just unfair. So, cut them if looking at themselves or else. I believe that if better comes, like, I'm not sure if it will because this is Jamaica. But if they. If something would happen to these young people that, that's non call center related, I believe that the call center will be empty. The only good people that, the only good good persons that are really happy about working in the call centers are at managing the staff. And also, a lot of them have been resigning at, uh, as well. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to say. I just hope for the best for everyone that's working in the industry. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it's working for you because not everybody has the same experience, but a lot of Jamaicans are having that experience. But if you have any, if you want me to do a part two, like you just read, because I wanted to do something like um, persons reach out to me, tell me what they think about the content, and I read it and have a discussion about it. Probably on a live or something, you can do that. But I'd love to talk more about this because I'm really passionate about it, given my last experience. And if I get a lot of views on this video, I will tell you about my experience um, with losing my job at a very well known call center. I'll let you know. And honestly, I'm a very dis I'm a disciplined. I'm not gonna, I'm not, not tooting my own horn, but I'm a disciplined person. A principal person, I follow the rules. So I'm gonna let you know. Just let me know in the comments if you'd like to hear that story time, and trust me, you wanna hear it. You do wanna hear it. But I hope that I'm gonna end this video now. So I do hope that persons working in the in the industry, sorry, um, they're doing well and it's working out for you because I know it can be hard. I know that it affects us mentally, but I pray that everything will work out well for you. And if you want any, if you, if you want us to talk more, just leave your comments, and we can definitely talk more on this topic. Because being on TikTok is one of my favorite apps. I realize that a lot of call center agents are retaliating against the call center because it has been hard. It has been very hard. And every time you have to leave the call center, go on next one. Like it's hard. It's really hard. The people then begin. The masters, they're there sitting in a seat as an agent, state, as an agent taking regular calls, which is not fair. And then the people that went up with us up probably a few subjects. Not that we're bashing persons with a few subjects, but people who work so hard to get the degree and you know, their manager is somebody who can't even construct a proper sentence. That's just not fair. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know your opinions. We're not here to bash anybody. We're just here to talk the truth about and talk how we feel because if we bottle it in, we will get mad. And we don't want to get mad, right? We have things to live for, we have things to live for. So continue to subscribe to my channel. Continue to like my videos videos. Continue to share with people, with your friends, your families, everybody, so that my channel can grow. And I promise that I will try my best to fix my phone so the audio can be better. And also to put out more content for you guys so that I can grow. My channel can grow, 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 grow. Yes. Thank you again for watching this video. I do hope you had an extraordinary Friday evening, Friday morning at work. I do hope you have a nice dinner, lobster and mac and cheese and all those nice things. Enjoy your day, stay safe, take care on the road, stop the fast driving, and you know, just live and be happy. Live, love, and be happy. Enjoy your day. Bye.